We know three cases among employees sounds small, but it makes a huge difference for families of residents. Outdoor visits are not allowed at facilities with outbreaks. Indoor visits aren't allowed at all unless a resident is dying. Losing that outbreak status is difficult. They have to go 28 days without a positive test. So just one new case, even among the staff, resets the clock. A one triad family knows the struggle all too well. They went months without seeing their loved one in a nursing home. Now it could be weeks before they see her again. Two wants to know Kevin Kennedy has their story. Hazel Williams is a fighter. Already battling colon and breast cancer, the 79-year-old tested positive for COVID-19 last month. So they moved her to an isolation room where they stripped her of all her belongings, including her Bible. Moved to the COVID wing at Pine Ridge Rehabilitation in Thomasville, Williams spent 21 days in quarantine. She feels like the, the least important person in the world because She's been isolated. Williams is now back in her old room, COVID free, but the virus has taken a toll. We're lucky enough that we are able to go in. We have to dress head to toe in a full suit, just like we're a COVID nurse. Family's only allowed to go inside and visit if medical staff determine the resident is near end of life. Trina shooting this video after a recent trip. Several rooms now empty. Pine Ridge has reported 53 cases of the virus, 13 staff and 40 residents. Six have died. Hazel doing much better. My grandmother overnight from having physical contact visits, her oxygen has went back to 97 and all her vital signs are stable. It's now been almost two weeks. Hazel continues to improve. My heart was just so full when I was able to sit beside her. But that good news comes with a dose of bad. We're scared that the facility is going to come and tell us, well, she's doing better than we expected. We have to stop contact. Tanya Taylor hasn't been able to sit with her mother since March, every visit through a window. She just wants somebody to talk to her. Keep her mind on things. And While state leaders try balancing safety and medical concerns with the need for close physical contact, families worry about the lack of in-person visits and the emotional toll it is having. The disconnect from their families is it's killing, it's killing the patients. They just they they need that love in their life and companionship and stuff, but just, they're just not getting it. Restrictions on in-person visits will continue for now. What all this means for Trina is unclear. I pray that they continue to let us see her because she doesn't have, she may have a few months at the most. Every moment special because the simple reality is that every little bit that Hazel gets better, the chances these visits with family will continue gets worse. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.